Before we begin, make sure the camera is not plugged in and the latest version of ASCOM is installed. Go to the website qhy.com, click on download. The QHY camera drivers are now a unified driver, meaning that one system pack works for most of the newer cameras. In our case, since we are testing out the QHY 268M, we will be using the beta drivers. As a convenience, QHY also has links to other software that might be required. Now that the system pack has been downloaded, we need to run it. In some cases, Windows may prevent the driver from running. You can click on more info and click on run anyway. As a side note, the drivers are actually safe to install. Following the on-screen prompts, we can choose plugins for various types of software. Make sure that these programs are installed ahead of time before installing the camera driver. It is important to note that if you are using the QHY filter wheel, make sure the ASCOM driver with four pin wheel is checked. You will also be asked which additional drivers to be installed. I suggest selecting all of them if you plan on adding more QHY cameras at a later date. Once install is completed, you will be asked to restart your computer. We can now go ahead and plug the camera in. Make sure that both the USB and power cable is plugged in using the supplied cables. If you have the filter wheel, you can go ahead and plug that in as well. When plugging in the filter wheel via the 4-pin connector, make sure the filter wheel is set to 4-pin mode. A small hole can be found here. Use a paper clip to press the switch. To confirm the filter wheel is set to 4-pin mode, the LED will go green. If the LED goes red, then this is actually still in USB mode. Now we can connect the USB cable to your laptop. I have opened up Device Manager to show the camera being connected. If no errors occur, the camera is ready to go. We can now test the camera. I'm using SharpCap to test the camera. Selecting the native driver, I am able to confirm that the camera is actually working. To make sure everything is correct, I can play around with some of the settings. I also want to confirm that the filter wheel is operating correctly and that I need to actually connect it in the hardware tab. I also need to set the appropriate amount of filters. Next, I want to make sure that the camera is actually functioning in ASCOM mode for long exposures or other software. To make sure that the camera is working in ASCOM mode, I'm also checking out some of the other settings. Let's test out the filter wheel to make sure that that is also working. One important factor is getting certain settings correct. The most important is the offset. You will need to adjust this to ensure that the histogram of the image is not stuck to the far left hand side. In this example, we are setting the offset within the ASCOM driver. The gain settings can be adjusted later. Another setting to look out for is USB traffic. We advise this to be set above 15 to avoid any issues with the camera. Now you are ready to start imaging.